All right, inside the BKB Arena with the Charlo Brothers. Uh, guys, big fight going on this week, the inaugural event here. Brian Bear and King Gabe Rosado. I understand you guys worked with Brian preparing for this, so tell me what the experience was like working with Brian and, and working in this kind of a, a setting. Pushing him to the limit, you know. Um, him going too many rounds is like a different, you know, a different pace, so we had to speed up our pace. And um, Brian is strong, he's hitting hard, so within two minutes, he's not going to get tired. And, and he's not worried about that, so the, the camp went great. Um, me and my brother both put in like uh, plenty of rounds with him. And um, this is what I'm ready to see what he's gonna do. How, I mean, without giving any secrets away, but how, how do you train differently, or how do you uh, or plan for a fight differently in this this kind of different setup? It's too many rounds. It's too many rounds. You, gotta, you normally you gotta program through. your mind too. Yeah. You gotta switch up a lot of things. It's not easy uh, for a fighter, especially. You need a camp. You need a, at least a six week camp, especially if you're a main event fighter fighting for a title and wanting to put on a good performance. You have to have a great camp. And, and uh, I know Brian Vera for a fact, he had a great camp. We both worked with him, tremendous rounds. He's stronger, he worked on his power. Uh, he's fluent and making weight. Um, you know, there's gonna be some big trickers come out Saturday night. First event here, they're, they're obviously gonna go for the two guys I think will, will uh, shine best in this kind of environment. How is Brian's style? Suited for this. Brian is a straightforward come, come at you guy. Rosado in the box. Um, Rosado, Rosado come forward a little bit too. So you know, who knows? It's not like they have to meet up inside the middle of the ring and um, duke it out this time. It's no running from each other. So we'll see. You know, so, Rosado will move a little bit more. Uh, if you got a fighter that's coming at him like Pila Quilla came at him, you, he's gonna back up and move around. And then if you got a fighter that's gonna uh, like Brian Verde that's gonna come in, he gonna move his head a little bit. So the difference, wait, the both difference fighters is got there's moves. no ropes. Both, both fighters no ropes. can make moves. Rosado said don't be athletic. Uh, this, 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 this game is not for athleticism. And I, I think um, that's completely different to what I think. I think if you are not athletic in this part of the, this ball game, you'll wind up hitting the, uh, little, the turns and you'll get a point taken away. So you have to be athletic and you lose your head. So y'all you gonna get a uh, good fight. I just heard you say this stuff that you might be interested to do in the future. What do you guys think? Uh, is something we can see you both in d down the road, or? Yeah, this candy to a knockout artist, you know what I mean? So, look, the money's right, I'll do it. Why not? Yeah. Most definitely, if they pay us, we're gonna get in there. It's a circle, we, we're athletic. We'll, we'll fight here, there, on the baseball field. We'll fight on the basketball court. They yeah. can put boxing in the football ring, and we're gonna still, you yeah, know, you know, man, no matter what you say, you know, don't go in between the 20-yard line and the 40, we're gonna stay in the between. Yeah. So you're telling me to stay in the middle of the ring? Okay, that's easy. And then this last thing is boxers. How do you guys hope an event like this goes? I mean, obviously it has tons of boxing and elements, but... I'm the future of boxing, and this is boxing. This is the future of boxing. So, you know, we ready to see how big BKB gets. And um, I think it's the new evolution of like, you know, for the fight fans. Fans want to see a fight. Fans don't want to see running and somebody laying on the ropes. They don't have none of that. So we just see, you know, how BKB turns up. But it's a still hit and don't get hit game. So can't forget that. And I lied one more, uh, just obviously prediction for the fight. Tomorrow. Prediction? Yeah. I got Bear, Brian Bear, either. I got him beating the UD. Yeah, uh, so you think it's going to decision, all right? I don't think it's going to go to decision. It's going to go to decision. I feel like Rosado is facing it and hold up. Brian Vera is going to um, knock him out. <laughs> I got Brian Vera with a decision. The main, the main reason why I said this is once smell blood is because once Brian Vera starts putting the pressure on Rosado, Rosado will retreat and move around and it's going to go seven rounds. Because Brian Vera is going to wind up chasing him around and he's going to trust me. I fought him. I, I've been in there with him. Yeah. All right, guys. Appreciate it.